And um, so, so as, as I mentioned earlier, the, the capability we're aiming for is approximately a million vehicles worth of, uh, of battery grade lithium. Um, but so there's, uh, the, the potential is there to expand beyond that number uh, as needed. Um, we intend to continue to use uh, uh, suppliers of lithium, so it's not that Tesla will do, do all of it. But we thought uh, it's important to address what we think is, uh, as we look ahead a few years, a fundamental choke point in the advancement of electric vehicles is the availability of battery-grade lithium. Um, and lithium ore itself uh, uh, for mining is actually quite common. So lithium is, is, a, is actually a very common element on Earth. It's present uh, basically in every country. So it's, it's not that there's a shortage of lithium uh, ore to mine, uh, but there is a shortage of, uh, of, of really heavy industry uh, refinement of, of lithium to, to battery grade. And, and, and battery grade lithium uh, actually has to be extremely uh, precise, uh, ultra pure, because if you have any impurities uh, in the lithium, it causes degradation of the battery. So the purity requirements are, are, are extremely high. Um, and uh, we've, we've got a number of innovations that we think will be quite effective in the uh, refining of lithium that uh, haven't been done before. And maybe that's a good point to hand it over to Drew. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and on the process in particular, Turner, why don't you uh, give a little rundown of what we're doing here? Sure. Yeah, happy to run through it. My name is Turner Caldwell. I lead our battery, raw material, and recycling efforts at, at Tesla. Um, so speaking to some of the innovation that we're going to be pursuing on site, the conventional process and I won't get too into the weeds. Um, but it's heavy, it's a heavy sulfuric acid consumer, it's a heavy sodium hydroxide consumer, and as a result, the byproducts that are produced from that conventional process are, are challenging to manage. You end up with a lot of sodium sulfate that no one really wants. Um, here, what we're gonna be using are much more inert reagents. We'll be consuming soda ash, sodium carbonate, very common industrial chemical. We'll be consuming lime, again, very industrial, very common industrial chemical. Um, and it's a much more direct route that consumes 20% less energy all in. It consumes uh, reagents that are 60% less cost, uh, costly. Um, and, uh, and all in, the, the production cost is around 30% lower uh, on a unit, unit cost basis. Um, but the, the real key thing here is that the byproduct that's produced is, is much more inert. It's basically a mix of, of sand and limestone. Um, and the team here has been working really hard on finding beneficial use opportunities for that, that sand and limestone uh, to try to feed that into construction materials uh, so that we end up as a, as a, as a net environmentally uh, very neutral site. Yeah, and I think one of the great things about both working on this lithium refinery here uh, in Corpus uh, and the cathode facility that we have in Austin is that we see the end-to-end -end uh, impacts of any decisions we make on the technical side on how we design the battery cathode or specify the purity of the lithium so that we avoid unnecessary complication along that path. The whole dig it a ditch, fill it and dig it again that tends to happen in the material supply chain. We're, we're, we, we are very intentionally sort of eating our own dog food as sometimes they say to make sure that we don't uh, hold ourselves to standards that are unnecessary while still delivering an awesome end product and cutting out all the the, the the inefficient uh, process steps along the way. In fact, we're looking at 30% fewer process steps in this refinery than a typical refinery while still achieving what we need to uh, to, to uh, hit our, our cathode uh, quality and performance targets. Um, yeah, so some of that is actually removing some of the purification steps that you would put in if you were a standalone lithium producer, because ultimately what matters is impurity levels in the final product, yep. not in the intermediates that get handed from supplier to supplier. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the most efficient form of lithium to use is lithium hydroxide instead of lithium. We're getting a little technical here, but lithium hydroxide instead of lithium carbonate. But uh, what a lot of um, ref um, current industry refining things will do is they'll convert it to lithium hydroxide, then convert it to lithium carbonate, then convert it back to lithium hydroxide. That's what we mean by dig the ditch, fill the ditch, dig it again. Yeah. So we want to st stop that yeah. and just, just go straight to high purity lithium hydroxide. Um, and a couple of points about you know this location. It, it really is an ideal location for um, uh, us to, to have this lithium refinery, both because of the strong community support, but also the talent base that's in Corpus Christi in, the, in, in oil and gas refining actually is, is very applicable to what we're doing here. Uh, it's close 
to Austin. Uh, there's a really good deep water port, so we can bring in uh, the spodumene, which is the rock input uh, to this refinery from uh, you know all over North America through an easy path. And it's also directly on rail, um, so we can also bring in the rock and the out send the outgoing product via rail. So truly an awesome site with a, a fantastic community support. Can't thank you enough, um, and really excited to get this project in motion. Yeah, and I really want to emphasize this is a very sort of uh, clean, uh, Turner sort of alluded to it, but a very clean refinery. Uh, so it's not like there's, there's no toxic emissions or anything. You, you, could live, you could live right in the, in the middle of the refinery and not, not suffer any, any, any ill effects. So a very clean uh, operation. Indeed. Yeah, and the, um, as we look forward into the future, obviously day one it's designed for this spodumene concentrate. It's from hard rock mines. But as we start to have recycled batteries coming back, the, the factory is designed to be feed flexible. And so we'll be actually processing lithium out of black mass, uh, as well as from brine and clay operations that are also ramping up in North America. And so as we, as we view this site as uh, having a major focus on regionalizing the lithium supply chain, uh, it's all about being feed flexible and taking advantage of all of those feeds, including manufacturing scrap and end-of-life batteries. Yep. So a virtuous circle of battery